<laughs> oh, I didn't come in quite early enough to catch all that. Dang, that's okay. Right. <laughs> all right, we're back. We are in the middle of this pit room. Um, and I intentionally wanted to wait on showing you guys this because for whatever reason, even on the handouts, the names of things are on there. Mm -hmm. um, but you know what? I think I can trust you guys that if you know what this is and with future handouts, if you know what that is, you will omit that from your character's knowledge of things. Oh. oh, that makes sense. I mean, honestly. Rest <laughs> so this is the big bug guy that Look Rose currently talking to. <laughs> He's, He's so front. cute. He's like a big crab. <laughs> <laughs> we should name him Sebastian. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Er, do you want to pet? Do you want to pet the bug? I mean. What kind of armor do I have on? It's <laughs> a good question. Uh, Mine is all right? leather. I have like nothing metal on me except for possibly the wand and my rapier. And also like some sick jewels, but. Oh, it is leather armor. Okay. All right. We good. We good. Um... Oh, but also I do have my necklace that is fashioned out of some metal. I mean, I'm sure you won't keep my distance. To, like, okay. Uh, <laughs> well, then I'll come back to like the group and say, uh, I'll be like, just a sec, buddy. And then come back to the group and say, he motioned his head towards the north as though that's maybe a way to get out if we want to go that direction. Uh, okay. I don't know what out means, but that's how he entered this space. Uh, yeah, that's the knowledge I have. Also, he rests things, which is bananas. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're you mentioning that. I I do want to be as fair as I can with uh, what Taryn may or may not contribute to that conversation, especially relative to the trident and, and what you guys may or may not want to do with that. Mm -hmm. I don't know how he would feel about trying to see if this thing would destroy it or not. Do you guys... I, I'm like really stuck yeah. with how I he think, might feel about that. I, I also don't know how he would feel about it, mm. but I'm thinking now, now that we know where this is and have like a vague idea of how to get to this monster, hypothetically, in the future, if we decide, no, we don't want this thing anymore, we want it to get possibly destroyed by a rust monster, then we ha at least know that it exists somewhere. Like, we got time, potentially. Mm. Yeah. Um, and I don't know, I think maybe one of our first... I think I think we're all a little more focused on, like, people than things, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Like, while I don't know what he would exactly say it would I don't know that it would like genuinely concern mm. that right I, not. again I I think that he is so focused he's gonna be so focused on Lymora at this point right yeah that everything else is just sort of it, it, he's gonna have hyper focus on her right and everything else is just gonna be kind of fuzzy happening outside of that um, at, at least short term, because yeah. Yeah. he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to look back at my notes for him, um, just to make sure, but yeah, he doesn't have, again, unless he does have something that came just from on his own that I don't know about yet, mm -hmm. as far as like information he might try to get or a conversation he might try to have, um, Limura, From everything that he and I had discussed together, Laimura mm -hmm. was involved with this group of people that got attacked, and that was basically like the poll for the campaign starting, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that he had a connection to that group. He's not the only one here that had a connection to that group. Um, mm -hmm. 
and then she had like she was missing from she was supposed to be in Red Larch, but she's not sort of thing. Um, and she was his basically like teacher coming up, yeah, like mentor, surrogate mother. Right. Yeah. Was kind of um, how he's described her recently. Mm-hmm. Right. So as far as he has at least told you guys in game and me out of game, <laughs> um, there's there is no other like tie to the major plot lines and conflicts that he would mm. be trying to pursue. Okay. He, his main thing was find her, get her back to safety, sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Right. Of course, he's going to have the opportunity to tell me otherwise if he had other plans, but that's at least where I understand it to be at right now. Okay. Um, So, Lamora, I'm guessing either way we go, it's going to be a little bit of a trek. Um, We know... We know one way out because it's the way we came in. But uh, if you're willing and feel up for it, uh, would you like to continue with us? Knowing Taryn and, and the company he tends to keep, I would trust continuing with you with caution. All right. <clears throat> oh, we haven't even introduced ourselves. I'm, I'm Gert. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, that's <laughs> very smart. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll wave uh, from over here. I'll be like, I'm, I'm Whirl, uh, and I'll point to the, to the monster, and I'll be like, this is Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> the great name. Oh. I am is it doesn't stand for anything. It's just the name is. Uh, she'll gen- generally, say, uh, you know, respond to all of you with like a nice to meet you and. She'll actually look down in the pit and say, Oh. I wonder if they thought that would get rid of us. Good thing they got it wrong. Yeah. Very good thing. Do you think you were to be gotten rid of? I couldn't say for sure. Like, what, what was even the purpose of them taking you guys? Other than creating a ruckus. Well, I'm not familiar with the dealings of elemental cults other than very lofty goals that I've heard of in the past. And they seemed more interested in attacking each other than in individual people. But then why would they have even attacked us in the first place? Did they mistake you for another cult or something? Well, the collective group was so large, it's, it's entirely possible that some of them were part of it. Oh. Whether on purpose or not, I couldn't say. Wait. Wasn't... You had a you had a dwarf in your group, right? S- several, yes. <laughs> um on his name. Yes, that too. Um <clears throat> Are you just forgetting his name and you would say I it? am. Is it is yeah. that Gimblin? It's Gimblin's his brother? Yeah, I think. Start with like a B or something. Uh, 
Roll in Thar. Roll in Thar. Roll Thar. Did did you have any conversations with a a ruled in Thar? Ah, yes. He was he was on and on about something with cycles and a historic site. Mm -hmm. Did he mention a book? No. He had tons of maps. Mm -hmm. Was there anyone else, like, really interesting or, like, of note in the party that you came down with in the big caravan? I was with no one. They they were simply my hired transport. Oh, it's my understanding they... that there were several groups on the same or in the same caravan. So she was taken by Hippogriff. This is I'm I'm working things out. Uh, do you know? She wouldn't know if she was transported anywhere else. Did anyone have any, like, weird special insignia that you noticed? Like, any, like, specific white robes or, like, ugly cavalier boots or, <laughs> like, stupid feather robes that, like, might have been around? No, nothing like what you described. And nothing anyone? that I would say stood out. No Making one. Hand signals. Yeah, I was gonna say handshakes, hand signals, making to each other. Hmm. Um. So the the you were doing the pilgrimage down to Red Larch, and you were meeting with um, another cleric. Was there anything specific that you were originally planning on doing in that pilgrimage? Specific? No, the the pilgrimage is simply a, an opportunity to share knowledge and faith and experiences with clerics of other domains, as well as serve the the town or city that we're in. Um, may I ask if this isn't too like forward or too much information? Uh, what uh, is what god do you serve? Oh, that's a good one. What's her domain? Did I follow the question? Let's see if that gets us anywhere. Like with her as Taryn's mentor, would they have been? They've been light, right? Yeah, worshiping the same deity. Was it Lathander? He started as Lathander uh, and then changed it, or what, did he change mm-hmm. it think, to Lathander? No, he, just, he changed it he, to Lathander. I thought he was Lathander, but he just changed oh. his domain. Yeah, I don't think he has a god yet, right? He no, changed his he, domain. I thought but. he had a god the whole time, but he just changed his domain. I have no idea. I just thought he has been changing colors and that it, it is bananas to me. Mr. Taren, we need these answers. <laughs> <laughs> True. <clears throat> I'm not seeing anything in his notes about it, but I could just be missing it, too. Um, Taryn was, uh, was his light domain, right? Not anymore, now he's in Twilight. He was. Uh, Light to Twilight. (laughs) That's cool. Yeah. The next one will just be him holding an apple. (laughs) And then there's a chessboard, and then there's a moon. Yeah. Or the other way around. I don't and there's know. There's another moon. I don't remember. I stopped. I I don't know. Meh. Um, okay, I'm almost there. I have pieces that I've put together and the answer is No. 
bear with me because we're sort of smashing multiple pantheons together. Okay. Yep. I am devoted to Kalimvor, Lord of the Dead. Oh. Uh, can you spell that for me just so I can like envision how to pronounce it again? Sam, if I understand what you're thinking. Uh-huh. <laughs> Um, Osiris, judge of the dead. Yeah. Kelimvor, overlapping by mm -hmm. being of death, uh, mm -hmm. but he is like domain of the dead sort of thing. Okay. In in function, they are overlapping, but not the same. Okay. <clears throat> uh, and Kelimvor is K-E-L-E-M-V-O-R. Got that wrong. I added an extra L. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a hit or miss with names in D&D, &D, mm -hmm. whether or not it's like, oh, I, I know how to spell that. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Phonetic usually ends up being close enough for me. <laughs> right? Yeah. Hmm. Does that mean she's a grave cleric? I mean, that's sick as hell. Yes. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> huh. All right. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> Speak your brain. Well, because, um, I mean, how much, I guess, how much do you know about, um, oh gosh, let me, let me look back here real quick. Um. I mean, how much do you know about devils and demons and, for that matter, the river Styx? <laughs> well, I like to think plenty, but there may always be more. Um, I'm going to say Taryn will actually chime in at one point, and he'll, he'll be a little confused at first and say, wait, you trained me at a temple of light. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and she'll respond, uh, while that was the basis and location of our teachings, it seems you know full well that persuasion can be influenced over time. Uh, And dedication to one path is not necessary. <laughs> um, and then, so she'll she'll turn back to you, Gert, and say, "What what do you mean? Are you trying to learn something?" Um. Honestly, we think that there may be. This all may be tied to them. This all being the attack on my caravan? Uh, the attack on the on your caravan is a drop in the water. Um, there are, there's a war that's coming. And it's- Ah, uh, you mean the eternal war? Mm-hmm. I believe it's coming up, coming up to, to us. We are in the midst. Well, if my understanding of ancient texts is accurate, then it certainly would not be the first time. So, if you have uh, any information for us on, on that realm, 
we would be eternally grateful. <laughs> well, I have much to catch up on, it seems, for now. However, elemental cults. Perhaps these lofty goals may not be so lofty these days after all. Have you encountered any devils or demons directly? Yep. <laughs> she'll she'll raise an eyebrow like clearly interest Pete. <laughs> um, uh, we got him. There's uh, one guard. Uh, summoned one, right? Mm -hmm. I I cannot remember if it was a devil or a demon that we. It was a a, a minor demon. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um. So, we fought a demon in these caverns, and I believe we defeated him. Um. If we didn't, he ran away. <laughs> when you say summoned, did you? see the summoning happen? Yeah? No? Okay. Taryn mm -hmm. at least would say no. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't have known the difference, I don't think. I know that someone waved a stick around and he showed up, but I don't know what that means. Um, I think, I, I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm assuming right now that my description of that event was not enough. So I, sure. I got to retcon it a little bit and say, like, he, Gar clearly had influence over that creature. Um, and when he, he like pointed the trident, it wasn't, it, it was definitely not summoning it. He was just like compelling it to come up and it okay. was just sort of like hiding over that ledge. Oh, so, so Gar just, just was... like basically said, come up and he just climbed up and started attacking. Great. But he was already so there. It There's was just even just like hiding in the water, hanging out with the dragon pearls now. <laughs> yeah, it was already there. Um, but then you, mm -hmm. you, uh, Taryn, I think at least would piece together like when you had harmed it severely, it got sucked back into a portal that was at that altar in the room. Mm -hmm. Right, that did that. Yep. Yep. <laughs> uh, okay, so Taryn will mention that and then Laimura will say well, if you saw such a portal then I believe you to be correct So, I know you have experience with, like, or you have knowledge of what has happened the last time this, you know, altercation war happened. Um, knowing that, what what steps are coming next? Like, what things do we need to look out for next? We've seen a couple of orbs of devastation, uh, which is apparently a thing. Um, we have seen some weapons. We've seen this one demon and we have other kind of knowledge of like a history of other things that could happen. Do you have any idea what might be next? The beauty of chaos is that it is just that. I could not honestly claim that I may know anything specific about what you have seen in the past or what you may see in the future. I do know that such artifacts could not be created by such a minor being. And she's referring to the one that you've encountered, the demon you've encountered. Mm. So far greater influences are at play. As they always have been and always will be. But... Using the plane of elemental chaos. That would be new to me. Mm. 
planes of elemental chaos, not singular. Mm -hmm. Like the elemental planes, are they different from this is both an this is possibly an out of game question, but like are the like elemental planes of like the elements different from elemental chaos? Uh, they they are one and the same. Cool. Uh, there there are multiple planes, elemental planes. Right. Um, and the, like air, water, earth, fire. Uh huh. Okay. And then there is the abyss, which right. is like the main uh, right. place of demons. And uh, and then the nine hells are their own planes. And then where you guys are now is the material plane. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. Portals are going to be like your most common. Sure. I think my question between... was more. Yeah, my question was like if the elemental planes are also called the elemental planes of chaos, which is my. Yes, they are. Okay, cool. Yeah. cool. Uh, I had a question about that and now it is gone. Um, <laughs> but it had to do with. I don't know. There was a question about it. Um, you haven't by chance seen any like genies down here? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't know if you didn't ask. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, she'll remind you that her her collective memory of things right now is like the day they were attacked and then like sure. a fleeting moment down here and that's it. Yeah, it was worth a chat. Yeah. So do we do we want to start walking? Do we want to take a nap? Like now, like what next team? I mean, Gert just got a blanket out. Clearly, she wants. To. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I'm I'm good to keep going. Yeah. Do Do we know what time it is? It's We've not still seen sunlight like, for like days. You, you can have like a general sense of time okay. passing. Um, it's not like it's that weird down here or anything. Mm -hmm. But I also have my pocket watch, which I haven't you used do. in a while. So I'm wondering oh. about my pocket watch. <laughs> does, your, does your pocket watch tell you like what time of day it is or does it just do the weather? Because I was assuming it was like just weather. I mean, it's weather, but I'm assuming. And if the sun's up. That like, yeah, that there's some form of at least like day and night kind of a thing that you that could be told with all that so um, I mean uh, not quite because um, you made it the a, a druid craft and yeah I guess it is just the, the weather yeah and it, it's it's basically a weather over the next 24 hours kind of thing but would it show you, like, if the moon is out? Or, like, if the no. sun is hiding behind clouds? We could say flavor-wise, like, because it's covering a 24-hour period, sure. But there's really not much way mm. that it you could tell, like, what is it right now sort of thing. Sure. Yeah, it doesn't really do that. Never mind. A wild familiar appears. <laughs> oh. You're so cute. He's the best. Um, but again, you guys can have a general sense of. I, I'm not. I'm not being too intense about that sort of thing. It's, it's midday. It's okay. only been a, a few hours since you've finished your last long rest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's just keep going. All right. Do we want to go in the up direction where the bug looked, Boop. or whatever is in this direction? I mean, is there a path in the up direction? Uh, I'm gonna shimmy up a little bit and see oh. what I can see to like here. Uh, outside of the. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the pit. Oh. Oh, I like fell it. in uh, the pit. <laughs> uh, yeah, you are able to see that the this hallway sort of continues on. It does sort of cut off in your line of sight at one point. Mm -hmm. And. I'm actually gonna kill the rushing water effect because that's it's far enough behind you now that you can easily tell it's fading away and 
at mm. least for now, that's the only heavily running water uh, in your periphery. Um, world, you're looking that way. Yes, currently. Allegedly. <laughs> Uh, that is not labeled very well. I guess it's that. Um, process of elimination says it has to be that. Okay. So... This black spot you're seeing on like the very northern edge of your this jungle, yeah, yeah, um, wow. is actually acting as a wall. Okay. But you can tell it's like it's not the same as the stone around you. Mm -hmm. It's like a misty veil, and you cannot see through it. Oh, well, that's creepy and intriguing as hell. I'll be like, there's some sort of, I don't know, blocky thing up here. I don't know if we can go through it or not, but it's, it's a uh, kind of spooky. <laughs> What's the other way? Someone look the other way. Yeah, I was gonna say, can I, can I see anything going up these stairs? Uh, you are able to see the stairs, and the edge of your vision is natural walls, stone walls. Mm. Well. I know we said to go north, but this way goes up. I feel like we got to go up to get out. Yeah. I mean, he just said that's where he came from. Not even like mm. that that's the direction to go, but like that's where he came from to get into mm. here. Right. Yeah. He, I don't know, they. <laughs> Do we want to go up or further in then? Uh. <laughs> um, I could peek through this a little better if you want, or we could just go upstairs. I'm fine with whatever. Uh, I like going directions. <laughs> I'm cool with it. <laughs> Either way. Someone flip a coin. Someone roll a d20. Uh, Hang on here. More, more than 10 20. we go up, less than 10, <laughs> 10 we go sideways. Well, all right. <laughs> great, we're going sideways. <laughs> Woo! All right, here we go. So we're going left? Yes, we are going left. Okay. Just for future reference, I do have a dragon. Uh, wait, I have... Uh, you have a dragon? I have a dragon. It's me. I'm a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> you see my own. Uh, I know, I have, a, I have a dice set. Oh, so I can. Oh, hell yeah. It's probably not, you know... Oh, an in-game dice set? Yeah, I don't have nice. like D20, all that kind of dice, but like I can probably like do the six. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You play cool. a dice game. Nice. Okay. A little entertainment on your short rest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Nice. Uh, that's what I'm here for. Okay, so we're going right. we're going left. Are we all going left? Because I'm gonna I'm gonna move you to a spot and then give you a description if we're all going together. Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Yep. So Taryn will be in the back because it does not matter right now what he is able to see on his actual screen. Cool. Uh, we'll go here. Okay, what do we got? Um, okay, so on, you, you might need to scoot a little bit. I'll just put you on the stairs. That, because that works. Here, okay. Oh, dang. I promise I'm not making you guys trigger anything, so I'll just I'll sure. just put you here, and then if slash when you want to start moving again, just let me know, and we'll make it happen. So, can you all see this thing in the middle of the room? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, a stone pedestal in the middle of this cavern holds a glassy sphere about eight inches in diameter. Um, it contains what looks like a swirling smoke. Ooh. Um, battled armor, damaged weapons, and tattered clothing are strewn around the chamber. That's what all these spots are, sort of around Ooh. the floor. Mm -mm. Um, 
but the floor, you can see the floor within 10 feet of the sphere is clear of any debris. Several mm. weapons on the ground seem like they still might be serviceable. Yeah, that's the end of that description. Is there another hunk of meat we can just throw in there and see what happens? <laughs> you can, yeah. I mean, maybe. Yeah. Do you want to try it? <laughs> sure. Let's let's just like huck a piece of meat near where the like tattered stuff is and see if it gets zapped. I'll I'll hug yep. it. Yep. Yeah. No. Thing. That let's let's do it. We're tossing in some meat. Yeah. Dirt can create a speed and water. I'm a huck a piece of meat. <laughs> okay. Going for anything specific, or are you just kind of I lobbing mean, it in? So you're saying that like there's a, a ten foot radius like around this guy where there's nothing, where there's nothing, but then outside of it there's like tattered stuff. Uh huh. So I'm gonna shoot for like maybe here, so like just kind of in between the line of like the ten foot radius and the outside of ten foot radius. If that makes sense. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Like right on the line. Flop. Yeah. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Alright. Hmm. I'm gonna go in a little bit to like here. <clears throat> okay. Uh, you, you see more of the same. Clearly another mm -hmm. hallway going to the left and another going to the north. Or I'm just going to say we don't know the actual cardinal directions. I'm just going to use yeah. them as to our map description out of game okay. uh, or out of character. So one west, one north, and uh, more of the same sort of strewn about this pocket that you're in. Um, does this orb look like anything we've seen before? It looks very similar to the general look of the Devastation Orbs. Um, the fact that it has this sort of like swirling smoky look inside is a notable difference from what you've seen so far. Okay. Um, actually, you've only seen one, right? We've only seen the fire one because the water one got I saw something pew in the sky, but I didn't, right. I don't think like, we saw the orb specifically, but we, we've been very close to the fire one. Right, mm -hmm. so you would, it would be easy enough to tell like the biggest difference between the fire orb that you saw and this orb right here is that the fire one was a solid red, mm. like straight up looked like a bowling ball. Mm. Right. Um, mm. And this one is uh, very similar in size, but mm. this like visual effect of the swirling inky smokiness inside is different. Yeah. Does anyone want to try and perceive this thing before I try and get closer to it? Uh... Mm -hmm. I closed Terran's thing. I'm deciding if I should try and identify it, but I think I have to touch it to do that, and I'm not stoked on that fact. <laughs> yeah, you do have to touch it to identify. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... I mean, Taryn would be the best person to find out if he knows anything about it. Yeah. Right. Um, do any of these weapons or, like, pieces of stuff look cool? Um, make an investigation check. Love that be good. Oh, hey, 19. <laughs> yeah, so checking stuff out, um, you can tell there's like, there's a couple short swords, um, and, you know, pieces of armor that would be usable, um, but nothing like super cool. Yeah. <laughs> um... Let's see, what else does Taryn have here? Just bitch in perception, and uh, he can fly when it's dark. Um, let's 
have him do this. Oof -da. <laughs> yeah. Oof -da. He's not much help. <laughs> okay. Oof -da. It looks like something happens in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, very much so. Can I can I kick the piece of meat like more into the circle? Absolutely. Nothing happens. <sighs> okay, guys, I want to touch it, but it seems like a bad idea. What do we think? What's the over under? Uh, What's the vote? No, I mean I don't want no. you to touch it. <laughs> um, oh, you have a mage hand. Oh, I do have a mage hand, but I don't know exactly what. I, I mean, either. we might be able to we might be able to see what it does if something tries to touch it. So, uh, uh, but I'm also nervous about like if it is a big boob. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, Terrence, sorry you missed. Uh, we're starting over, so. <laughs> A really cool psychic character. Um, He's a cat that's also a wizard. Oh, jeez. Uh, I mean, sure. Yeah, I'll I'll cast Mage Hand and just like just touch it. Yeah, I'll I just poke the butt. it and touch the butt. <laughs> the button pusher pushes the button. Yeah. yeah. Do it. <laughs> touch that butt. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna poke it gently with the Mage Hand. <laughs> Uh, okay, so the mage hand pokes it, and you hear this very um, crisp glass-like ting, um, and immediately a whirlwind swirls around in a sphere as if the sphere itself just, like, exploded into many times its size, and you can see this whirlwind flowing in exactly the 10-foot radius. After a brief moment... A few of the pieces of armor and um, weapons sort of like shift. Mm -hmm. And then four swords fly up into a pointed position aimed right at you, Whirl. Let's roll initiative. Tight. Ah, balls. Oh, shit. I'm sorry uh, I touched it. No, that's, that checks out. Uh, that's so the stupid question are the swords being like. Does it appear? I, uh, it does I not know. match the pattern of the wind. It's they are coming at you. Tight. Yeah. Of course they are. Come on, initiative. Let's go. Uh, what, is, what does this sound like? Yeah. It's Sounds cool. <laughs> are we gonna fight swords? You are fighting swords. All right. Well, I'm gonna burn them. Hell all. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, except uh, there's there's nothing really holding them that we can see. Right, but if they can take damage and I can heat them and they can't un they can't let go of themselves, let's go. It's pretty good. <laughs> exactly. You can't let go of the I like it's basically like if I heat your armor and you can't take your armor off. Mm -hmm. Except that um, you are the armor, so I'm just setting you on fire on the inside. That's what I'm thinking would would happen. Am I right? No idea. <laughs> we'll find out. You may test that theory at your convenience. <laughs> I also think, I, I know this because I just checked all of my stuff. I have an extra box. So, oh. Ooh. I, stop being, I was worried about that. Anyway, let's go. Uh, I'm excited. Extra. Let's go. Flying sword. Flying sword. <laughs> There's the answer to your question. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is it just like the talking sword from Roger Rabbit? It like stings a little bit? Is it that guy? Uh, I mean, they're not talking. Is there like a bunch of tune goo we can just drop him in so he goes away? Oh my god. Oh, oh now I'm reminded of the shoe and I'm sad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> bonkers that whole movie is. That, whole, that movie is crazy. Mm -hmm. That's Taryn. Um, Okay. Okay. And then we'll get a little creative with having Lemura do some things on Taryn's turn. 
I was gonna say, if she needs to just stay in the back to keep herself alive, totally fine with that. You know what, just to keep things simple, we're gonna do that. And then yeah. she'll be like emergency cleric help if needed sort of thing. We have three clerics now, guys. We yeah. do have three clerics. <laughs> we could never die, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> all right. Um, the swords catch you all uh, off guard, not mechanically by surprise. Uh-huh. They... Not on guard. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's good. And oh, I did not put. I didn't move them. Here we go. This song ended up being way more epic than I thought it was. That's okay. I I'm love about it. to get attacked by five swords, so let's go. Yeah. Four swords. Uh, we're in here now. Make sure stream can see that. Yes, we can. Okay, I need to turn this down. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, they can move a lot. Holy cow. I'm so excited, guys. Yeah, two of them are coming at you, Whirl, and the other two are coming at Cal. Um... Yeah, okay. Uh, d- 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 where is yours? There we go. One. Two. These are the first two at Whirl, second two at Cal. Uh, Whirl, 12 and 18 to hit. 18 hits, 12 misses. Eight slashing damage. Cool. Uh, and then Cal gets a 17 and a 22. Both of those hit. Eight and nine. And then it is World's turn. Crazy. Um, I will cast Heat Metal on this first, this one on my uh, left. Uh, because I want to see how that works. Um, <laughs> and so if it takes damage, if that's a thing that can happen, um, then it will take crap where's heat metal. Are you level three? No, I'm gonna cast it at level two. Um, and so it just takes it if it takes damage and it's 2d8. So um I don't know why I rolled that twice. Yeah, weird. Uh but I guess the first one I clicked said I'll do seven. Yep. Um, okay, so at first when these things start, like swirled up and started flying at you, uh, they they had a very clean and crisp path on their way, and you you can tell that this one sort of like shakes in place um, from from you doing that. So you can tell that it is being damaged. Okay. Um. And then I'm going to give myself bardic inspiration and be like, it's cool, it's fine. It's just swords that are just attacking you for no reason. (laughs) Uh, And that will be my turn. Yes. Uh, Gert, what's happening? Uh, Cool, so we're going to try... um, you know, let's go for Sacred Flame on, uh, which one did, uh, World Hit already? This one. Yep. So I'm going to go Sacred Flame on the other one. The other one that's attacking World? Yes. Okay. Um, and it's a 13, um... Yeah. Yeah, so that is 18 damage. Woo-hoo. Okay. Uh, this sword has been like, it took, took a quick slash at Whirl and you you hit this with a sacred flame and it just immediately drops to the ground. Ooh, cool, cool, cool. cool. Nice. Um, and then I am going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Um, oof, does a 24 hit? Oh yeah. <laughs> um, so then I've got uh, six damage. I'm gonna start him. I'm gonna start it uh, here on the other one that's near world. Like in that spot? Okay. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. gonna that over. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna bop that one. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a six force damage. Okay. It is still hacking away. Right. Anything else for you? That's all for me. Okay. Then we're gonna go to Cal. Burn it with fire. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, who's next? Cal, you are. Cal, okay. Um, I don't have fire. <laughs> um, what I am going to do... By the way, there's uh, no handout for flying swords because it is just a sword. <laughs> 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 Um, I love it. Sorry, I'm just reading this up a little bit. Um, Yeah, okay. So it determines the size and shape and stuff like that, but... Okay, there you go. It says a line. Okay, so um, I would like to. I understand the risks here, but I would like to tumble through these swords here. Okay. Um, so I'm actually gonna. Yeah, five ten. If there's enough space to like saddle up against this wall right here. There is. Okay. Five. So you'll trigger one opportunity. Mm-hmm. Uh, Twelve to hit. Twelve misses. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I am going to uh use my breath weapon on both of these swords. Um, nice. Oh, it's, hey, a, it's a line. Yeah. Five by 30 foot line. Uh, they need a dex save. Twenty and three. Uh, the 20 saves. The three does not. Okay. Uh, so three. 13 acid damage for the fail and half of that for the save. Okay. Okay, you can tell that they're, they both end up like flailing in the air and as disoriented as a sword can look, it looks disoriented, both of them. <laughs> Uh, that's gonna be it. Nope, that's it. Okay, then we are off to Iz. Uh, sick. Uh, <laughs> I want to get in a sword battle with this thing. I want to step up here and pull out my rapier and fucking go for it. <laughs> Seventeen to hit. That will hit. Uh, disregard the sneak attack. God damn it! It's only six. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, if only. Wait, is it not in contact with any of your buddies? I was going for this guy, so no. It has okay. to be like opposing. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, damn, I should have said, hey, I'm doing my study anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Fine. It it falls to the ground. Sick. Right. Yeah. Two down. Uh, I think that's really all I can do. I mean, okay, so I think, I don't know. My bonus action says I have two weapon fighting. I don't really know exactly what that means. If you use an attack with a weapon as your action, then you can use your bonus action to attack again with a weapon. Well, cool. I'm going to do that to this guy then. Yeah. yeah. Um, I used to do two short sword fighting in my other campaign. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Uh, 22 to hit this guy. That'll hit. 
Cool. Uh, again, just the piercing damage up top. Hey, which is 11. I'll take that. That's pretty cool. Three down. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, and then I'll back up and just say after you. That's it. <laughs> All right. Uh, then Taryn is up. And he will try to sacred flame that one. Kill it with fire! <laughs> yeah, he's about to. <laughs> uh, what is this? A save? Uh, deck save. 15. Miss. Ooh. Or say, n fail. Words. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> uh, okay, he like points a finger. Amazing. And the last one falls to the ground. Cool. Yes. That was hard. Um, <laughs> that was one round of combat, right? <laughs> Correct. Yes. yes. Um, so the the whirlwind happening around what the center of which would be the orb uh, continues for another um, 20 seconds or so, a little longer, mm -hmm. and then completely subsides. And the, the orb remains. Hmm. Does anyone else want to touch it again? I was going to say, should I touch it again? <laughs> um, just to... No. <laughs> I'm supposed to be lawful good. <laughs> Come to the dark side. I don't feel like any say... of those things are, are... bad. Oh, I'm I'm saying that I'm becoming much more chaotic as I am around all of you. I would say you're just becoming more inquisitive. <laughs> I call that character development. <laughs> there you yeah. go. Yeah. Taryn changes domains or deities. You get to be more chaos. Have at it. <laughs> Embrace it. Uh, cool. Do we want to go north? Do we want to keep touching this thing? Do we want to go north? Do we want to go more west? Oh, yeah. Is trained with a, lit a lich for 30 seconds. It, right. No, no big deal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> Karen is literally changing color. Is literally changing colors. <laughs> I want to keep saying this because it's truly bonkers. <laughs> yes. See, here's um, the thing. I kind of want to go north now. I do too. <laughs> I see this spot over here and I'm like, ooh. But we'd have to be near the 10 foot radius. Right, but we got things inside of the radius and it didn't do anything until we touched it. Is it going to ask me to touch it as soon as I walk past it though? Because I mean, if it asks me to touch it, who knows? Do you want <laughs> me to walk past it and see what happens? Because I am made of air. Which is I mean, pretty cool. <laughs> but obviously it can still hurt you. Yeah. yeah, that seems to be a thing I care about, but apparently less than finding out information. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to say... Oh, I'm use gonna... your spiritual weapon. Walk your spiritual weapon past it, because it's still up. Oh, that's true. Do you, have, do you only have it for a minute, or do you have it for 10 minutes? I don't know. But... Yeah, I can I can move my spiritual weapon. Or can I? You can. Okay. Let's try it. Let's uh, go. Spiritual weapon I'm... is one minute. Hot oh, butts. You so you've got enough time it... to do that. Okay. Yeah. It definitely doesn't want to move for me. So Oh I didn't I didn't give you control. There we go. There we go. All right. So, spiritual weapon's gonna hang out here for a, just a second, see what happens. Nothing happens. Great. It's gonna go past up here. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Great. <laughs> hey guys, uh, so I think if we don't bump into it, we can probably walk past it. Let's Although, see. do we actually want to take that risk? I mean, someone make a decision. Flip a coin. 
Yeah, I got those dice, pal. fancy dice. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, is it really that difficult to walk past it without touching it? Cool, we're walking past it. <laughs> um, and as you guys start walking, Taryn would actually chime in. I absolutely believe he would do this and say very excitedly, "Hey guys, that was air." Do follow up quick. Do you think we're under the air cult? Well, we were talking about maybe finding connected caverns. That seems so uh. fast and so far away, but I'm like, I don't think you understand how exciting that is. I'm sure he would be very excited about it. I'm yeah. like hundred percent positive that he would have so, pieced that together and he would have been very excited about telling you guys. Uh uh. Let's go. I want to go left then. I think. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's go north. Is there know. an up? Yeah. <laughs> like, do we see staircases anywhere? Um, actually, as you guys get here, seeing into this little hallway, you would see stairs. Cool. Oh, shit. Let's, let's go to oh, the stairs, stairs. stairs. We're doing the stairs. Um, wait, let me. Yeah. So you see stairs north as well. Oh, shit. Um, this is gone. Yeah, I guess the, the lines are a little off, but it's not significant enough. You do see stairs that way. Um, which direction are they going is the question. I don't know, but I'm very, now that we're, air, we're back to air, I am very excited. Plus we can maybe climb back up into the building and steal all that stuff we did the steal the first time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a fair amount of money up there, if my brain remembers correctly. Yeah, we were kind of just like, let's steal some of their clothing in this letter and and be yeah. off. Well, because I, I didn't weird. find anything, and everyone else did, and, and but wouldn't do anything about it. That's true. Okay. I mean, I'm not giving that to Gert. Gert was fully downstairs <laughs> just petting the animals, <laughs> giving zero fucks about anything else. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> This, Are we going? Hang on. This is. You're good. Oh no. That's not that. That's not that. Okay. I'm still wondering should we if we should try and put that orb in a box. Right. Because like, we have a fresh box. These stairs go. That does not track at all. Oh, no. I'm going to have to just decide. You know what? It doesn't matter. It technically doesn't matter. Just ignore that that even looks like stairs. Pretend it's a slide. It, it physically does not make sense based on the rest of the map around it, so it <coughs> it's it's not a staircase. Okay. okay. Maybe it's a cool um, bridge over more rocks or So then let's try to get past this. And uh laid stone slabs that are just right next to each other. Uh, each exactly. other. It's just yeah. a little bit of grout. Yeah. Is uh have we noticed it is, any ugh, God damn it, okay, I finally got it. Sorry. Um, okay. It's actually uh, bones. Oh. Oh, I hate um, that. So, yeah. So the skeleton of a giant worm is fused to the sides of this long tunnel, disappearing <laughs> to what is your north on this map. Oh. Um, Interesting. Yeah. I don't, I don't want it. Is there like a, like, how old is this thing? Uh, would you mean such a creature or the bones themselves? Bones themselves. Uh, you can make a medicine check. Oh, I was hoping for a nature check. I'm always hoping for a nature check for the record. 
Mm, that's a six. Yeah, this, uh, I mean, it would have been really difficult to tell anyway because it's like bare bones. So reasonable to mm. assume like very old. Sure. Um, yeah. Oh, that's, that's really terrifying now that I can see like very slight more of it. Uh, but uh, um, what direction does it feel like the wind is coming from? Because you said we got to a point and we could kind of feel a little wind. Uh-huh. Um, so here it's actually a bit stronger and it's mm. coming out from the left. All right, I think we should go this way then. Even though there's a giant fucking worm skeleton I in our water. I don't want it, I don't want it. I don't want it, but I am also like very intrigued by, by what is here. I'm super not, but I'm here to support you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, let's do it. All right, so you're going that way? Yep. I'll get you guys to a spot. Okay. And then give you more description. Mm -hmm. It's okay, nothing happens, so you don't have to worry about springing any trap. Oh, that looks so much more terrifying. Oh, I hate it. (laughs) Um, Christ. Oh, my goodness. All right, so you've got this long hallway going to the map's north. And at the end of it, you can see the end of the trail of bones that are, like, basically making up the tunnel itself. (laughs) um, Ending at at a very large hole with another small hallway offshooting to the right. Mm -hmm. To your south... The worm skeleton basically wraps up into a massive tunnel going straight up. No. no. And some of the bones had been, you can tell, have been removed. And it's so methodical that you can't help but assume that it's basically been makeshifted into a staircase. And at the bottom, you see a few odd looking. Uh, almost like backpacks. Do they look familiar? Like other backpacks I've seen? Not very, no. I mean, I kind of want to go look in the backpacks. Do it. Okay, I'll go do that. okay. There's nobody around. (laughs) And more than likely, these people are dead. (laughs) Oh, there's no people. It's just the backpacks. Yeah. Oh, no, but I'm saying the people who left these backpacks oh. <laughs> are probably dead. Okay. Long since perished. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, want, I want to check these out. Also, are any of our, like, feelings of whisperings and stuff getting stronger, or did we leave that magical area? It has, it has maintained, okay. but it hasn't been, like, impactful in any sort of way. I just haven't been mentioning it. Cool. Um. That's the backpacks is. Yeah. What do I need to do to check these out? <clears throat> um, you can make an investigation check. Yeah, I can do that. That was a 20. Beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. There are five of these. They're identical. They have a sort of latching mechanism. And on the very back is uh, what I can only describe as like a window. And through the window, you can see a little swirling, not unlike what you saw in the orb in the previous room. And a small sub compartment on the very top has like a flap. It's like a freely opening and closing flap. Um, And when you open it up, um, direct, directly beneath is a rubbery substance. Are there any markings on the backpacks indicative of the Earth cult? Ooh. That's a good question, considering that this is like a giant worm carcass. That I was actually thinking, the like... Cavern. What we know about the orbs, if you you have to like mark the other symbol on the outside, mm-hmm. 
Oh, so if yeah, are, yeah. If these are like ready to go, like let's say they're like, they've prepped them and put them in these backpacks and then marked like the earth sign on it to like mm -hmm. stop or time um, them. There are no markings, no cult, cult markings cult. of any kind. Okay. I hate this. <laughs> like a fun hate. This seems dangerous and I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> I will note that in order to fully investigate it, is had to touch it, um, mm. and nothing happened. Cool. So cool. Still alive. <laughs> okay. And this looks nearly identical to the one in the previous room. Um, it, it's got like a swirling, smoky effect through the window. It's okay. not an orb. You can tell it's okay. not an orb. Um, yeah. You just like this little window. It seems like there's a compartment inside mm -hmm. that has a similar sort of visual effect happening with it. Interesting. And there's like a rubbery substance on the inside. Mm. Specifically on the top. So like uh, you can see that the, off the, the window is like on the back side and the opposite side is where you would like, there are straps. So like mm -hmm. it's actually a backpack looking thing. Um, and then in the top is a, just like a flap that freely flaps. Um, and beneath <laughs> that, when you open it up, is, is a rubbery substance. Is this like one of those pet carriers that you can have for like a bird or something? It so very much can... looks like that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. All Do right. You, should I try and identify one? Is it like a thing? Is there any other information we should glean off of these puppies? Is this where the bug came in? No, probably not. Like, I'm thinking mm. it would have been a tiny little guy. No metal yeah. in there, so it couldn't eat anything. And then, boop, go for it, buddy. But, no. Hmm. Do we want to keep walking? Do we want to touch things? I, mean, I just want to touch all the things. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're, we're very touchy people. <laughs> it's true. So, does um, this, are there stairs in this circle, or does it look like the stairs would have been? You said the bones were created, used to create stairs. Yeah, so like uh, you can follow what is clearly the skeleton, the worm skeleton, oh, okay. as far as you can see, and it it looks like some of the bones were removed. Okay. So you can see there's like a swirling staircase that's been created as a result of that. Oh, is that like what this weird like gray thing is back here? Is the gray thing the or is this the hole, like this thing? That is like a hole in the floor. Okay, cool. you, you can see the end of the worm skeleton here. Okay. And then more stone flooring going into that massive hole. Um, and then the circle that's on the floor here is just indicating like the inside of the circle is where you can see into darkness. Okay. Um, but then the, the perimeter of the circle basically represents this swirling staircase of worm bones. So that's, so we idea potentially could climb that staircase up. Yes. I mean, I say we go up and see where we are. It's not a bad idea, honestly. I think we take one of these backpacks with us. Yeah, sure. All right, let's do it. All right, can I identify the backpack as we're walking up the stairs? Absolutely. Say. Um, are is that are you straight casting it or a ritual? Uh. I mean, if I ritual, do I have to stay still? I, yeah, that's what I was just thinking. You pretty, um, yeah, you pretty much have to stay still to do that. Do you, is it okay if we take ten minutes while I inspect this thing? Yeah, unless ritual. you want like a piggyback ride or something that works. Ritual. <laughs> okay. Is Plus anybody... ten minutes will get us closer to a long rest. <laughs> um, anybody doing anything during that ten minutes? Uh, trying not to look in the way of the creepy death worm cavern because that's gross as hell <laughs> okay all right uh whirl mm -hmm. you have identified a balloon pack oh what is that and <laughs> should we be stoked that there are five of them you you can feel free to pull it up in D, &D beyond and, oh i'm um, hella doing that yeah there's a oh, full description pack. Oh wait, maybe I have a. Yep, sure do. Nice. That saves me so quick. 
Oh my god, okay. Oh, this is cool, okay. Oh, that's sick as hell, and we're taking all five of these. <laughs> oh, Absolutely. Wow. I'm sad that the spirit got captured, but I know that's that's the <laughs> yeah. that's the downfall for me there. Can yeah, we feed them something? Used, uh, that's yeah, fair. yeah. That's so the spirit the... is freed after it gets used. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Unless it's recharged with an elemental air node. We've heard about nodes before. But we don't know what they are yet. Mm hmm. Bananas. Okay. It's, no. Okay. That's bananas. Uh, and we're taking these. <laughs> Everybody gets one. These are sick as hell. Great. Cool. Let's I'm going to name stairs. my spirit Rufus. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not going to take one. <laughs> if, Why not? If, if everybody is taking one, I'm I might give mine to uh what's her face. Oh, that's fair. For the time. Lamora. Okay. Yeah. All right. So everybody except Cal, uh you can you can in D D Beyond you should be able to add a balloon pack to your inventory. Hell yeah. Helps if you spell it right. Spoiler so right. cool. started putting things in the chest that I carry around because I realized you can do that online now. Yeah, that's super cool. Alright, let's go up these stairs. Okay. Um, where did that go? Aha. Okay, going up the stairs? Mm-hmm. Yep. This is one of those things where we have to check different pages of stuff. It's all good. Okay. I'm going to run to the restroom real quick. Super. Actually, let's take a super quick break. I got to do the same. Um, but I'm not even going to go to like a be right back screen because it'll be that okay. quick. <laughs> okay, okay. And, and we're almost done for today. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Who does not have dark vision? 
Uh, I don't think Iz has dark vision either. I think you are right. I actually think it might just be me and Taryn. You and Taryn with dark vision? With dark vision. Okay. Joe's about to answer that question. Oh, I need to get rid of this because this is long gone. I was like, how do I have it? I don't have it. Yeah, I think we oh, all. Taren, I think we've Taren all been on Taren's. Yeah, Taryn has but to like. But it was a. It was a momentary. Yeah, it was only good for an hour, and it's definitely been longer than an yeah. hour. So yeah. we're. Yeah, I was like three hundred feet. I would. Yeah, I know that he also would have stuff. recharged it like the second he could. You know what? He's yeah. He is going to give that to you guys again. Because uh, he does that. Okay, yeah. great. He, yeah. he does do that. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there only a certain amount of people, or how many people is he? I think it says up to six. Yeah, it's, it used, it's bananas. Boy, I have to start thinking about some things. Oh, I forget where it is, but he he would do it again. Yeah, so yeah. I don't want to burn time trying to find stuff on his character sheet. Um, okay, so... We shift to here. Okay. Um, why is that? Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I don't. Uh, I don't want that. I think oh, that's the staircase. Goodness. That is the end of oh. the staircase that you come out of. It is <laughs> the mouth of a long dead worm. Oh, um, Six out. So this is a large unlit room completely empty save for one feature sticking up out of the large hole in the floor is the skeletal head of a great worm with its mouth open um a single hallway goes to the maps west and above you at the very um middle of the face of this wall is a symbol Oh, Let's go. That's where I we'll call am. it a session okay. for today. Amazing. So jazzed. Oh, geez. So jazzed. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, this is going to end the session. Sam going, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, you guys had a solid theory. Yeah, I didn't think we were going to get to this one so fast. I thought it was going right? to have to like go through the other ones. Hmm. It's an interesting way or, out to say the very or least. My next question is like, is there a place where they all like all four of them go like bloop? Which is possibly more terrifying. Unless that's where we just came from and it, it goes right. like water, air, fire and earth or whatever. And then heart is like right thing. in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Captain Planet is just chilling. Yep. Yeah. Lilu is just hanging out there with her multi-pass. Like. <laughs> oh man. All right. So I'm, we're going to, we're going to call it a day there for the stream. We'll stay here and chat a little bit. Um, but that's, that's a session. So we will see you all next time. Bye stream. Bye. Bye. Make a choice.